A boarding school in Kyoto, Japan. Students rising after a night's sleep, rolling up their futon mattresses, preparing for the daily grind. These aren't just ordinary students, and this is no ordinary school. It is run by the Aizu Kotetsugumi, one of Japan's biggest Yakuza crime families. These students are gangsters, the cream of the crop among young recruits from various Yakuza groups around Kyoto, sent here to hone their professional skills and move up the ranks. I joined out of an admiration for the underworld. Yakuza gangs throughout Japan recruit heavily among juvenile outcasts. Many experience their own run-ins with police prior to joining the Yakuza. Gangs offer these youths an organization they can join for life. In a culture where belonging to almost any group is better than being on your own, that's important. They are attracted to the glamorous lifestyle of Japan's underworld bosses, a lifestyle in which gang members wear full-body tattoos and sever portions of their fingers to show remorse for wrongs committed against the group. But first, these hopefuls must pass the test of rigorous training, performing menial tasks. Seventy percent Yakuza leaders say won't make it and will drop out. Gang leaders say living together gives the trainees a sense of brotherhood. The Spartan lifestyle, they say, instills discipline and teaches the code of values the Yakuza hold dearest, obedience and loyalty to the Oyabun, or Godfather. We teach young followers about many things, like the sense of duty and humanity and manners. In a neighborhood where ordinary school children pass by every day, the Yakuza school functions without fear of police or citizens. And in Japan, so do the Yakuza. Unlike the American mafia or other crime families, Japan's Yakuza gangs have legal recognition. Joining or belonging to the Yakuza is not in and of itself a crime in Japan, although police say individual members are deeply involved in criminal activity. Police made 54,000 arrests of Yakuza gangsters in 1990 alone. These were mostly lower echelon gangsters. Those left to do the dirty work, police say these organizations thrive on. Illegal gambling, prostitution, drug trafficking, blackmail, extortion. The organizations I know of usually forbid the higher level people to deal in prostitution and drugs. Money from the bottom is pumped up to the top, so the leaders don't have to commit a crime to live like a king. Gang emblems like that of Kyoto's Aizu Kotetsugumi adorn Yakuza office buildings throughout Japan like a company logo. Members flaunt the emblem on their lapel pins and even carry business cards associating them with Yakuza groups. Many Japanese seek out these gangsters for services, like collecting debts or persuading tenants or owners to vacate property wanted for development. In a culture that runs more on consensus than confrontation, Yakuza mediators are heavily involved in out-of-court settlements to traffic accidents. Nor do these up-and-comers hide their enrollment as students of Yakuza tradition. That tradition goes back more than 300 years. Popular legend has it the early outlaws, while gamblers and bandits were above all defenders of the common man, Japan's own Robin Hoods. The Yakuza still claim to live by that creed. To stand by the weak, to fight against the powerful, to feed people in starvation, and to put clothes on people frozen with cold. Inspired by those romanticized ideals, the Yakuza do make their own kind of social contribution. Yakuza security patrols keep order in some of Japan's hottest entertainment districts, such as Tokyo's famous Ginza, patrolled by this branch of the Sumi Yoshikai. In reality, they are guarding their own turf against competing gangs as much as protecting patrons. We tried to patrol in Ginza because... The territory here, we have the best territory in Japan. When gang turf wars break out, shootings often result. Ignoring Japan's ban on privately owned guns, the Yakuza are known to have large caches of illegal weapons. They are blamed for more than half the murders committed in Japan each year. In case family have trouble, we get together to fight, yes. But even when violence occurs, the warring factions act under a strict code of allegiance to their Yakuza commanders. They seldom harm innocent citizens. And by taking in wayward youths and giving them training and discipline, 
The Yakuza take credit for keeping street crime under control, giving Japan one of the lowest rates of violent crime anywhere in the world. Taylor Henry, CNN, Tokyo.